Hello, we have arrived. Woo! We've come to Vista for a little day of shopping. I'm meeting your friend. Oh yes, I'm meeting my friend. We've just plugged my car into charge, so oh, that was a new experience. But yeah, we have come to Vista today to do a little bit of shopping. I know they're a bit funny about people filming inside, so it may mainly be a few phone little bits. But don't know what we're buying. I think we're just gonna have a girly day, aren't we? Yes, we might. Lunch. We might find Mummy a dress. Yes, Mum has come looking for a dress um, for the wedding. Yeah, which we still have not got. So we're just gonna have a nice little wander around. What time is it? got 10 minutes so I think we might go get a coffee and have a wee first. Yes. So we're going to do a voiceover because I was very frightened of people telling me off in the shops. Getting there early was great because it was so quiet. We could take nice little pictures, have a little wander. So first up was Manolo Blahnik which I actually love these ones and I'm kind of sad I didn't get them. They were all about 300 and then I think they got an extra discount but I feel like as a nice classic shoe, a leopard print is something I always go back to. These ones were really cute as well and just a little bit higher than a kitten heel but nice for with like trousers. They'd also got some basic ones as well. We did go in Chloe and they've got the big tote bags which I love. Me and my mum both love these but they weren't discounted. And there's some nice little summer shoes. Next up is Prada which had got Mew Mew in there as well which were nice for like summer bags but I can't justify anything like that. They did have loads of discounted shoes in like this section where it was a little bit like a jumble sale, but it was a Prada jumble sale, so we'll be up for that. Then some nice summery little pieces. We actually thought these were kids clothes, but they're not. <laughs> they're just tiny. Um, and the socks I loved, could not justify. They were still very expensive, but so cute. They did have some really nice like platform sandals. These were 355. The next pair were the same as well, which I think is quite good because these are quite on trend, I think, like this sort of chunky style shoe. Love the patent ones, but I would break my neck. Lots of cute bags as well in Prada, but again, can't justify a blue bag. Next is Gucci, where I deliberated for a long time. Um, loved the white version of this bag. I think it's really nice for summer. And then also tried on the brown one which again, beaut, really liked it. And then YSL, I thought they had some good discounts and quite a few classic bags, so more like your basic black bags. These ones with the little monogram sort of front, I've always liked those, but they scratch so much, so they were no. Again, the shoe discounts were really good. I loved these little polka dot ones. They were only 200. I feel like they'd be a great holiday shoe. Also, I'm always drawn to like the leopard print ones. So they were another little sandal that'd be perfect for holidays. The cream ones as well, probably a bit more wearable and they were 205. Jimmy Choo had some beautiful sandals in. Really like these studded ones. They got about 200 pound off, so they were down to like 349 instead of 500. And then these were about 400, but so nice. They've got like the little diamond here around. Dior, I thought was a bit disappointing, but I loved these shoes. I think they're such a classic. I think they were about 498. Did consider getting them. The shoes were great, bags not so great. Burberry did indeed have a lot of trenches discounted. So if you're looking for like a classic trench to invest in, it probably is a good place to go. Then we went to Max Mara and I tried on this jacket, which I really liked. It was about £200, so it was quite a good discount. Um, it was from the Max & Co brand, not Max Mara, which is why I didn't get it in the end, because I was like, for an extra bit more, I might as well get Max Mara if I'm gonna buy something like that. But the coats were really good, so if you want in a coat, they're still expensive, but they've got a discount at least. And Gina had the most incredible shoes. How good would these be for a Hindu? And they'd of course got lots and lots of sparkly ones. These ones with the little bow, so pretty. By lunchtime, we were pretty much spent up. So we went to farm shop for some lunch. I had a chance to use my little bag hook thing, which is actually really good because we got lots of shopping. And then back home on the drive, it was a very successful trip. 
Good morning, so it was a few days after our Bista trip. It was like the start of our bank holiday weekend and it was so nice. You know, you just have an extra few days off and you're like, I wanna do that every weekend. <laughs> I need four days off. I thought I would show you what I did get. It was quite a successful trip. Yeah, we got there super early. It took us about two and a bit hours from Sheffield. So not bad. I was thinking it was gonna be a right pain in the ass, but it was fine. And they did have a few bargains because I watched a few videos before and people were like, mm, yeah, not very good. But I actually thought the bits that we got were good prices. So first up was Sweaty Bette, which I don't think I've ever had anything from Sweaty Bette. But as you know, I'm a bit, obsessed with my yoga and I basically live in like gym stuff so yeah I've always got some sort of gym set on underneath mainly for comfort um but I saw this jacket and I thought it was quite a nice like between gym and you could just wear it for anything sort of jacket so it looks like that and it's got these little drawstringy bits so it's quite a nice little sculpted fit. And this was 50 quid. It should have been, I don't know why it should have been, but I think it was quite discounted because the sweaty belly stuff is not cheap. So it's the Grace Zip Through. And I just thought it was really nice. Like I could see me wearing that to yoga on like a Saturday when I'm also gonna pop and get a coffee or go for a little wander around the shops and stuff. So I'm very happy with that one. I got that in a medium. Um, they also had loads of sizes at Sweaty Bay, so. Yeah, I think it'll be a nice one for my yoga days. One other thing I got, my mum actually bought me these. She snuck these into her little shopping basket while I wasn't looking. She bought me some like, cashmere socks because she knows I love cashmere socks and the white company ones are the best. These were 19 quid instead of, I think they're like 35 in the shop now. Next was L'Occitane, which was the only thing that was on my list for things that I wanted because my brother's girlfriend got me a little L'Occitane set for Christmas and it had got the almond fragrance in it with almond oil in and it's so nice, I'm obsessed with it. It's like, it's just quite subtle. I got a big one of the oil, which this is perfect for shaving your legs because it's like an oil slash foamy thing. So yeah, it makes your legs lovely and smooth. And then one other thing from Dalesford, is it dalesford.com? But the Bamford store, was it called Bamford? I wish I'd realized what the store was. <laughs> Cause when I've looked afterwards, it's all the posh bars, isn't it? We don't have stuff like that up Sheffield. So I got a room read and these are the sticks that they do, which are so nice and just a bit more botanical looking than like the normal ones. So I got a couple of packs of the room read sticks and then I've got a room read which has gone in our downstairs loo. And then the only other thing I bought, because it's quite expensive, but they had got some good discounts. So now I'm a bit gutted that I didn't look more. was a little scrunchie. This was 13 pounds and it says it should be 20 quid, I think. So this is the Bamford thing. And I just thought that was very, cute and like natural looking so i love their shop and definitely want to go back <laughs> so the main thing that i bought wasn't a planned purchase but i feel like that in itself for me feels quite nice it's the first bag i've ever bought that was like i just want that and i really like it it wasn't like a whim purchase because I sort of have things on my list of things that if they're on my list for longer than like six months, then it's something I definitely want. And a Gucci bag, like a brown sort of bag, anything with the sort of old school Gucci print was one of the things that I wanted. I have had a look online, you can't get these now, um, but you can get them on Bestiaire and they're going for quite a bit more than what they were at the shop. It was 500, which I don't think is bad like a good classic style like they've got lots of the more wild prints and things like that but no we're just not at that point where I can be spending that sort of money on a bag that I'm gonna wear once <laughs> it is I don't know what the name is but I'll pop it on the screen but I'm actually like this is the first time I've had it out since I got it um, I feel like I love it more now. So I was sort of deciding between the cream and the brown and I went for the brown in the end just because I decided that was very like classic and would go with a lot. And I did kind of want a brown bag. So 
How pretty is it? It's like a little, it's almost like a little lunchbox style, but I feel like it's still a practical size. I can still get plenty in it. The strap is adjustable, and I feel like there's a way for me to wear it as a short strap. But yeah, I think I can hack that so that it's a short strap. I felt like it was one of those things, if I didn't get it, I was going to regret it. And I was with my mum, and you know what mums are like. She was very much an enabler, like, get it, you should get it. So, we'll blame my mum. But I'm going to take it to Lake Como. So we're going to Como in May, hopefully. Because I always talk about holidays and then there's like a global pandemic or something going on. But I'm hoping to take that one and I think it'll be a good camera bag for like all my bits and bobs when I'm out and about. Um, hopefully do nice things in Como. So that was my little Bista trip. Uh, it was very nice. Had a great day. For us, there's nothing like that. Like, up this way. There's a few outlets, but not with as good design stuff so it was great to treat yourselves let me know what shops you think are best at Vista so that next time when I go I know what to aim for um but yeah I will see you all soon bye